One of our hurricane shutters ripped off and there's water all Three over. Three shutters ripped off. It literally feels like the end of the world. Haley's grandpa wants to go out in the hurricane. So grandpa gets knocked out. No one's ever gonna find him. Do I need to really go out there? Go get it. I go get it. Yeah, you might want to back up just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy out there. Even I backed up because that barbecue, I don't trust it. Those trees are hanging on for dear life. They're doing a good job. There's this little guy right over here. That tree is hanging on for dear life. I've seen that thing flex all the way to the yeah. ground. Haley's grandpa wants to go out in the hurricane right now. He said this is the only chance in his life he'll get to go out in a hurricane. Grandpa, don't go out there. Having an Grandpa is not going out in this right now. It's gonna get hit the tree. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna go grab it. Where'd he go? Grandpa, you're supposed to be sleeping right now. A lot of Florida lost power. Oh, Our new house still doesn't have power. But Mason cranked down the AC because you're supposed to crank down the AC for hurricane tubs. Oh my god. I think that oh, house gonna stay on your head. He's ready for an adventure, okay? I was gonna watch this vlog after it's posted and be mad at Grandpa. Are you going out there with the Mason? Again? Yeah, I have to get him on video. Cameraman never dies. It's a rule. See you guys. Great. Shh. Hey, there's our car. Watch him just start blowing away. <laughs> oh, there's a tree. He's way down there. It's not that bad. Why is our feet glowing? Look at it. It's a dance floor. Because there's a light coming from underneath the door. Get the feet, not the freaking face. <laughs> you guys are so weird. It's from the Mario is game. Is Grandpa okay? I don't know, he's probably dead. Where's Grandpa? He needs to hurry up. We're gonna see Grandpa blow by. I don't feel good about this. We need to go get him. I'm gonna go through this door. Why are you walking like that? Because it's cold. It's so cold as in here. So if Grandpa gets knocked out, no one's ever going to find him. No. We'll find him tomorrow. Do I need to really go out there? I'm like ready to go to bed. I've been up to yeah. I'm like, I need to go get my shoes on. Gives us anxiety. I can't believe this. Okay. It's going to be so mad if she wakes up. Go get him. Go get him. Are you lying, Grandpa? We all thought we lost you. Where's the lightning? Oh, over there. That could be Transformers, though. Getting struck by it, yeah. Is that what the whole sky lit up? It's possible, because it lit up green. It wasn't thunder. Thunder's a noise. <laughs> <laughs> We're all tired. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Grandpa and Uncle are leaving now. Don't get blown away. Ooh, did it again. Hi guys, so it is the very next day and the storm last night was crazy. The wind was picking up, it was so loud, none of us could sleep last night. Me, Mason, and Isla are now in the car. We're headed to our new house. Apparently we had some damage to our roof and we need to go home. My family is with my girls. They stayed at the Villatel. They're going to meet us at our house tomorrow. We did lose power at the Villatel for probably about an hour last night. We are so lucky that we still have power. We need to go check on our new house, assess the damages, and get somebody to fix all of the damage. It sounds like from what our neighbor said that our roof needs fixed. Our metal hurricane shutters, like one of them might have blown off and ripped off the bolts in the wall. So we need to go home, assess the damage. My mom, my grandma, my grandpa, my stepdad and my brother will meet us at the house tomorrow. Our house lost power as well in the whole entire neighborhood and a ton of cities and neighborhoods surrounding it. I don't know how long we're gonna be without power for. Right now we're stopped at a gas station. Mason and I lost directions to get home. All the cell towers are down. Their Wi-Fi is down at the gas station. Literally, it's like the end of the world out here. We don't know how to get home and we're stuck between two cities that are three hours away from each other and we don't know how to get home. We don't know how to make it back to the hotel. We don't know how to make it back to our house because we rely off of our phone. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We've just been driving around until we found this gas station that was open. Everything is like closed right now. We also have the dogs I'm freaking out right now and hoping we can make it home before dark. <sighs> It literally feels like the end of the world. Our directions won't load to get back to our house. I got it figured out, don't worry. You got it? No, 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 no. 
I just, my mind is a compass, okay? I'm a wayfinder. I'm Mason like is the worst person at direction, so I'm, I'm honestly I'm just terrified. That was rude. I'm just praying and praying and praying we get home safe. Everywhere is like a ghost town. No cars, no people. It's such like a freaky like feeling. The storm just passed last night and you guys saw like how crazy it got. Tree branches falling everywhere. Everywhere has to pick back up and then reopen. See all the trees on the ground and all the debris on the gutters and all over everywhere. All the places are boarded up. It's just so sad. So many trees have fallen. We've seen power lines, we've seen signs. Oh my gosh, it's just so sad. We finally got directions though, which is exciting after about an hour and a half. And I was going the right way the whole time. I'd like to mention that. We're just taking the relaxing, peaceful back roads. Yes, this is the longest path possible, but there's no traffic, no crazy drivers, and we can like take our time with it in case there's like debris and stuff. Don't mind how gross I look. I feel like I haven't slept this whole week because of the anticipation for this hurricane. I need to go home and shower. Hopefully our water's on. We've seen some roofs ripped off. Mostly like old buildings were destroyed, which is really sad and old homes. It's just so sad, like how one storm can change your whole life. Shout out to all the linemen for fixing the power. I don't know how we manage, but we can't really survive without cellular data and Wi-Fi. It definitely makes your life easier. You never know like how much you cherish something until you lose it. Look how flooded the sides of the roads are, you guys. That is crazy. So we just got home and there's like dirt all over the door. Our mat is completely soaked. We still don't have power, so nothing is on. It's a little dark in here. How's our fridge and freezer? I can't okay. see what I'm doing. We still have yet to move into our house. We're gonna give you guys a house tour. There we go. This is booting up our fridge. Okay, our fridge has power. One of our hurricane shutters ripped off and there's water all Three over. Three shutters ripped off. And there's water all over the oh. floor. There goes our mat. I don't care about the bathroom, I don't care about the floor. We need to look for roof leaks. Gosh. Oh, I was really hoping to not come home to a week. Thankfully, we came home. Well, this is one of the worst hurricanes in history, so. Oh. Of Florida. That's our shutters. That's two of them. We're missing one more, I think. At least it's light in this room. Wait. Ooh, I got dented. There's a frog in there. Oh, that scared the literally <laughs> scared me. I thought that was a giant slime. That's a giant slime. These frogs are smart little guys hiding behind our shutters. They're like, I'm not blowing away in these 120 mile an hour winds. Yeah. So this isn't my concern is that bit of water that got underneath. I expected that to happen because the shutters flew off. I want to look for roof leaks. That is my worry. We had shingles fly off. So we're going to look for some roof leaks. I don't want to deal with water damage and mold. The last house we had, we had those issues. We're looking pretty good in here so far. This is where the shingles went off so far so good i don't see any water leaks we're in good shape so far i'm not gonna lie i really thought we were going to be screwed after this um oh, i saw someone it's a ghost nothing dude this is so good I'm gonna sit in our bedroom because it has the most light. Thanks to the ripped off shutters. But we don't want to take off our hurricane shutters because there might be another hurricane coming. Yeah, we need to look up the information on this. Um, supposedly there's another hurricane coming in eight days. We're going to assess the damage. So this is literally why it ripped off because they didn't extend the shutters all the way. They only did it enough to cover the glass. So wind was getting behind here and ripped it off. Oh. My gosh, look at that. <sighs> this is so unfortunate. Oh, well, here's some shingles from our roof. Here's our shutters. Looks like they took a beating. Look at that. It is crinkled. There are shingles everywhere. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know what they're gonna do about this. Okay, so a little update. There are five shutters that ripped out. I found four. The fifth one is probably in our pond. 
I kind of looked all over the place and they were scattered like the other lots that aren't even built yet and all over our yard. One was almost in the pond, so I don't know where the fifth one is. I don't think these four could be salvaged anyways. It's just so frustrating. Brand new house. They really should have extended the shutters to go all the way. That's such a stupid design to have wind. Get right on in there and just rip it out from the inside. And then there's shingles like all over the place. Our roof is in pretty bad shape. We have like flashing broken. So we're gonna get this stuff checked out today and then hopefully get it fixed pretty shortly. So there's another piece. That one looks like it held up pretty well. Right over there, that flashing is sprinkled as well. At least the palm trees held in. Hi guys, so it is about two weeks later. Oh my gosh, time flies. We have been so busy with trying to get the house fixed and also moving into our brand new house. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to give you guys a tour and just catch you guys up on everything. So I apologize on the lack of content that's been coming out lately. And it's been very sporadic. Things should start calming down and we can so, be more organized with our life. We have the roof fixed. We had a roofing company come out. As far as the shutters go, I've been like attacking the builder to try and get them to cover it because the house is only a couple weeks old. So they're coming tomorrow, I have an appointment to show them all the issues with the house in general. We have a pretty big list, so we're gonna have them kind of address that and start knocking things off that list and fix the house up a bit. Not to complain, this is like a normal yeah. process. Like yeah. every new house, you get like a punch list. You get as you live in there for a little bit and the warranty department will come in and like fix any repairs that need to be made. We have some stuff that needs to get done, but most importantly, like our roof is fixed and our house isn't going to leak when it rains. The shutters can wait. Um, it's not like a big deal. We don't have any hurricanes coming up and we're actually about to end hurricane season, which is Woo! nice. So we're in a good spot. I mean, we're grateful like yeah. to even be here. We are and so yeah. grateful living yeah. in our dream home. I can't even like express how stressful this last year has been getting this house. It's Can such a big weight off our shoulders, gone. So we're getting wrapped up with moving out of the other house today. Actually, new tenants are going there. Yeah. So we got it rented out and that is really nice because we'll get like our deposits back and, and stuff. And we have to pay a mortgage and rent at the yes. same time because I did yeah. that this month and it was not fun. I'm just excited to show you a house tour. Um, yeah. We're getting a lot of stuff done and we're making a lot of progress. So. Ooh. Stay tuned yes. for the house tour. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.